Good morning, everybody. I think it's day 43. I can't keep track anymore. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Today is beautiful. I mean, it's like not hot yet. It's probably going to get a little hot, but right now it's comfortable. And huge shout out again to Steve McLaughlin for picking us up and bringing us back to trail. Very sweet. He was right on time too, everybody which is awesome. And today we're gonna do, I don't know, 15, 17, 18, somewhere in there, uh, where we will either find a stealth camp or stay in a shelter area. I'm not sleeping in the shelter again because that's just not for me. But whatever happens, it's gonna be great because we're on the AT. Look, the Reaver. It's cool. We we'll walk by this for a minute and then we climb up. So today's gonna be a beautiful day. And I hope you guys have a great day. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at my backpack. <laughs> yeah, baby. Thanks again, Light AF. You guys nailed this pack. I love it. Oh, anyway, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views, you know, like I do, baby. So let's go enjoy this beautiful day because it is going to be beautiful. View spot. Mm. Looky, looky, everybody. It's beautiful. Sky looks cool again today. You getting that good shot? What's happening, everybody? So, I'm just moseying behind everybody else right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm just behind everybody else right now. Which, when you're by yourself on trail, it gives you, like, when you can't see anybody else, I guess. I'm really not by myself. But, when you like, can't see anybody else and the birds are chirping, you just start thinking, you know, about, about everything, to be honest. And today, what I'm thinking about is just how grateful I am for, for everything that everybody's doing for me or has done for me or, I don't know, even just people watching. I mean, pretty insane. Yeah, I am another 
day of being very humbled, everybody. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome what has came out of me just doing videos of hiking. I mean, who would have thought that like, yeah, who would have thought that anybody would really care about what I'm doing out here? <laughs> it's pretty mind blowing to me. And I can't say thank you enough to every Hawk support team member out there. I mean, from, from comments to free backpacks, baby. Tell you what, the people make this trail and doing YouTube just uh, magnifies it by like, I don't even know. You know, I've hiked the trail before with no Hawk support team uh, twice. 12 and 18 and I was still very humbled by all the kind people out here I mean hikers oh, the hiking community <laughs> is like top notch everybody and I'm lucky enough to have the best of the best baby the hawk support team is definitely the best of the best. Yeah, so, yeah, as I'm walking down the trail, just like reminiscing over everything. Yeah, it's, it's overwhelming everybody, like, it's amazing. And I, yeah, I've said it a million, million times. I'll probably say it a million more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thanks enough. And this pack rides like a dream, baby. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that it looks super awesome. So, light AF. <laughs> thanks, guys. I mean, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Like I said, when you're out here and you're like, you're just walking around, listening to everything. All you're doing is thinking, everybody. Oh, tripped on a rock. Mm, killed a bug. So, yeah, and it comes over me like in waves. Like, I don't know. I'm always grateful. Don't get me wrong. But some days I just sit back and think like about the past, which... I don't know. I don't recommend anybody look at the past too much. Just move forward in your life. But the past couple years for me has been, yeah, life-changing for sure. <laughs> and here I go rambling. Once again, about absolutely probably nothing you guys care about. You're probably sick of hearing me say that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that. But I'm not going to stop saying it. Because I'm blessed, baby. So let's go get some more hiking in. Let's go catch up with the crew, everybody. Sounds like a good plan to me. Spineless Cougar, also known as I Love Uphill. PR got a dog biscuit. Boom, booyah, baby. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> Battery chargers, passport stamp, first aid kit, Oreos. This is amazing. Spineless Cougar. Amazing. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate this. Hey, my name's Dude Man. Oh, and a weather channel. Burger or hot dog? Yeah, sure. John Miller. <laughs> you are the man. Yes, Look, everybody. So Steaks on trail again, baby. <laughs> Thanks to John Miller. 
That's awesome. Thank you, John. Yep. And I do believe Katie's umbrella's in here. Yeah, in the front seat, I think. Oh, yeah. She'll be happy to see that. Boom. Look at this. John needed a reason to come cook me steaks. So we had an umbrella sent to his house. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Look at that, everybody. It's like a hiker picnic. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve even showed up. Oh, look what I gave Steve. Woo, new version. The new version. Brand new. I got him, everybody. So I'll be giving him out. Once again, what do you think, Katie? Uh, <laughs> is that any twins or side ones? Dun dun dun. We sell all kinds of stuff. Okay, sun machines and software. Ooh, I gotta put my phone down. Hold on. Yeah, we get that confusion once in a while. Yeah. yeah. You guys sell salt and pepper, napkins, everything. Yep. Yeah, there it is, baby. We had plenty of work through this whole pandemic. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Rock. <laughs>
John Miller, <laughs> his trail name is Poz, P-O-Z, and everybody, he's sectioned hike almost the whole AT. All he's got is from Irwin, Tennessee to Springer to finish up, and then he will have hiked the whole Appalachian Trail. So, nice work, John. I don't know if I ever told you guys that, but yeah. He's a hiker, baby, so he understands. Look, my banana's like, hey, I'm still carrying this thing. I was gonna shut the camera off, but my banana kinda got in the way, and I'm not editing anything anymore because I don't have to. My volume is good. So you might get little shots like this. <laughs> Benedict Pond, everybody. Look how beautiful it is. I don't see a single house. What are you laughing at? Who's this pond Benedictus? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. A little dry humor for you guys. Look, there's ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ducks. Let me see if I can zoom in on them. There they are, by the bushes. Bingo, bango. I believe they call this the ledges, everybody. If I had to guess, there was a sign down the bottom said to the ledges, so. Look at the sky. You think it's raining over there? I think it might be raining over there. Right over there is where she's talking. It looks like rain. Pretty cool. Check it out, everybody. It's a beaver pond. Look, here's the beaver dam. <laughs> I was hoping to see a beaver out here. But I don't see one. That was cool. Oops, wrong way everybody, sorry. That was cool. Get that frog on there. They're talking to each other. They're probably saying, uh-oh, stranger danger. <laughs> you never know. Look, these mushrooms have been everywhere today. All kinds of different colors and shapes and sizes and it's pretty sweet. And everybody, oh, got a bite. Mosquitoes are out. We are like less than a mile away 
We went to the first South Wilcox shelter. I've camped there before with the shelters. They got a newer one down the way. Anyway, we're going to the North Wilcox shelter. That'll set us up for like same kind of day we had today, but we'll be able to stop at Upper Goose Pond, which will be awesome. So yeah, it's cool that we can time it out to stay there because I've said it before, it's like a, a gem of the AT. This pond is cool. You know what else, everybody? I've got, I've got two hamburgers in my backpack that John Miller cooked for us and sent with us. We were each carrying two hamburgers. <laughs> so we have to cook dinner tonight. We can just open that Ziploc bag and eat a burger, baby. So thanks, John. Look at that. We've got a fire. Looks crazy in my camera. Yeah, that one looks crazy. Awesome. So, everybody. End of the day recap. Day 43. We left US 7. Steve McLaughlin came and got us from the Days Inn and took us to the trailhead. And that was at 1523.8. And we moseyed on down the trail to the Mount Wilcox North Shelter, which was 1537.3. Makes it a 13.5 mile day, everybody. And today was like insane, insane Hawk support team once again. Uh, Steaks on trail, John Miller, you know, he's the man for that. So thanks again, John and Steve for bringing so much stuff to that trail. It was awesome. And everybody around us got it, baby. So that's even better. Hawk support team could stand for two things. Hawk support team or hiker support team. Because they don't just get me, they get everybody. They just know where I'm at. So anybody around me gets it. So... Tomorrow, we're going to push to Upper Goose Pond. I've said it a few times today because that place is amazing. And who knows? We might even push on a little farther than that. Because I happen to know of a couple of places to stay with air conditioning. Imagine that. I know the air conditioning spots. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, other than that, it was a great day. And I hope you guys had a great day. And I'll touch back in the morning, baby. But for now, look at this fire. Look at Joe. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night.